sure. Come in. Oh, zero, zero, two. Bright. Annalee Waters to serve to start us off. Oh, wow. Point. Annalee Waters just holding that ball on her paddle as long as she could and flipping middle. Yeah, and right on cue, we see some of the attacking One, zero, arsenal. Two. That's not a standard trigger pull situation, but um, anything looks good when you have the skill set of Annalee Waters. Nice counter Side there out. from Jade Kalamoto. Yeah, and we see two points, two trigger pulls from Bright and uh, Waters, but Kawamoto, nice, short, compact Zero, counter one, one. on the forehand side. Nice one-two combo from Annalie Waters. Zero, one, two. Good Point. leave there from Irvin. So easy to get sucked into that firefight right there. Yeah, great court awareness, knowing she's a little one, bit one, off two. the line, which means any ball above, I would say, the rib cage or so is likely going to fly at full pace. Side out. Gives it right back on the drive that goes long, does Irvin. One, one, one. Oh, wow, Point. and Annalie Waters put both Irvin and Kalmoto on their heels on that poach, and she goes off the tape, nothing they can do is Two, it one, one. just over the net. Just how she planned it out. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> that's how she drew it up. Second yeah, one serve. thing that Irvin and Kalmoto are doing a nice job of early is they're not content with just getting their returns in. They're really getting some good, nice two, one, depth, two. which is making it hard for Waters and Bright to string together those big runs when they're serving. Point. Good leave there from Annalie Waters, and her partner Anna Bright jump out Three, to one, a two-point two lead here. 3-1 early in game number one. Little wide Side there up. from Anna Bright on the backhand, trying to pin Jesse Irvin in that corner. One, three, one. Wow, Second Annalie serve. Waters fooled Jade Kalamoto as she went backside on her. Yeah, Waters has so much control one, with three, that two-handed two. backhand. We see the power, but she has precision placement on that wing as well. Good Side spot out. right there from Anna Bright, right at the body of Jesse Irvin. Yeah, both Waters and Bright, and almost back-to-back -back shots, have tried to handcuff Three, one, one. Uh, Irvin. Might be the scouting report on the best attackable location against her. Good Point. spot right down the middle from Anna Bright. 4-1-1. And just when Jesse Second Irvin thought she had Annalie Waters beat, she resets it and forces her to hit another ball. 4-1-2. Good spot. Out. And this is what Waters and Bright do. They almost poach regardless of who the return is to almost every time. Both one, can four, poach one. with their two-handed backhand in the middle or their forehand, but it does put more pressure on them hitting a good third to be able to do that. Second serve. One for two. Side I don't out. mind that a shot like selection there from Jesse Irvin. It's about a half step slow getting there. If she gets that ball maybe six, eight inches higher, she's able to go right four, at the one, body. One. Wow, 
just Annalee Waters doing Annalee Waters things, Kyle. And they, this team will eat up short returns one, better one. than any other team out there, really putting pressure on Kawamoto and Irvin trying to unwind the stack. Both backhands in the middle now. There's one-two combo, perfect. Annalee Waters goes down the line, opens up the backhand of Jesse Irvin, and she finds it. And right now their tempo one, of one. play is keeping Kawamoto and Irvin of getting into their preferred formations. Oh, wow, nice drop Second from serve. Jade Kalamoto to get that put away. Yeah, beautiful point construction. She plays the drop Next. short yes, and then finds that opening in that Next, uh, one, deep two. corner. Oh, point. good adjustment there from Jesse Irvin. She's on it but just a little two on top. Seven, yeah, it looks one, like two. she was a little caught up between deciding to stick Time with out. one Receiver. or two Seven, hands one, two. on that counter. Again, finding that kind of build Seven, organically one, from there. All right, out of the timeout here, Annalie Waters and Anna Bright in control up Nice job of turning that defense into offense. Does Kawamoto, good job. And getting one, that seven, side one. out out of the timeout. Oh, Jesse Irvin using her length right there. I love how she's able to take that ball out of the air and not let it bounce. Yeah, and a much better point from Two, Irvin seven, and Kawamoto. One. Choosing to speed up a couple of times early at Waters and Bright, sometimes taking it to them first is your best bet. That's not a bad spot from Jesse Irvin right there. She doesn't get a great counter from Annalie Waters, but what a point by all four of these ladies. Yeah, those are the speed ups she's gonna have to try. Two, seven, Obviously two. a little bit tougher with uh, her partner being left-handed with her backhand in the middle. Couldn't help her quite as much on that occasion. Point. And this is that mindset shift that I think you need to play Waters and Bright, rather than say, okay, let's get to the Three, kitchen seven, and two. then try to win the point. You've gotta be looking to win the point and use offense even before you're established. Oh, Point. nice job, and I think that was almost just a little pure frustration from Anna Bright because Kawamoto was just putting so Four much seven. pressure on her. Yeah, we've seen a few yes, lobs good. from yes, Waters good. and Bright over the last couple minutes, and that's a win in and of itself Four, if you're seven, Urban two. and Kawamoto. If they're having to beat you with that shot, you're doing a lot of things right up at the kitchen line. Point. Timeout receiver. They can continue to do that, Irvin and Kawamoto, to serve. Oh, wow, Anna Bright going real hard cross court. 
Jesse Irvin takes a full swing at it and just misses. Yeah, she planted her feet early, anticipating the attack, but a great choice by Bright, just choosing to heavy Seven, roll five, that one. ball out of the air for a winner. Self-preservation in the middle of that point for Irvin as that ball is coming right at her face and she saves it Eight, five, and keeps one. it in play. Yeah. Wow, point. just Annalee using the momentum of Kalamoto's ball towards her to just continue that momentum to the sideline and put it away. Yeah, and it's almost a disadvantage playing Waters and Nine, Wright five, with the lefty-righty team because they are such a tough team to unwind the stack against. And without doing it, now you've got both back ends in the middle. Yeah, just Point. look at the movement sideline to sideline from Brighton Waters. Yeah, and Irvin and Kalamoto did everything they could to put balls in play, but again, with both backhands in the middle, it's very Ten, five, tough for them to dictate in these kitchen rallies. Game point here for Waters and Bright. Second serve. Have to have a second opportunity here as the ball long off the paddle of Anna Bright. Ten five two. Side out. Big holds right there for Irvin and Kalamoto, and even even if it's not a victory in game one, you got to get some five, momentum ten, here one. at the end of game one that'll feed you into game two. Yeah, Second like you serve. mentioned, Dom, this is the time for me where even if you do lose game one, find the blueprint, Five, find ten, ten. what's working, try new things so that you can have a good idea of what you want to try to do uh, in the next game. Oh, that's two unforced errors from Jade Kalamoto. Rare unforced errors, especially on a dink. 10 5 one. have to fight off another game point or two. And Anna point. Bright game. with the big finish five. in the middle right there Change will in. give. We'll see if two. any more tweaks from the side of Kalamoto and Irvin here at the beginning of game two. Steady diet of dinks to Anna Bright to start off. We'll see if that's a pattern for Kalamoto and Irvin. One zero two. Oh, look at the wheels from Kalamoto. And Annalie, Water, ba Annalie Waters basically gets one ball and she just punishes it. Yeah, Irvin trying to redirect that attack to the person in front of her. That's the standard play, but she wasn't able to get any spin on it, lifted it just enough, and the hand speed of Annalie Waters on full display on that occasion. one one Nice set up there Second from Jesse Irvin. She's not going to get the credit with the put away, but that's all her. No, she handled a couple very one, penetrating dinks from Anna Bright and was able to neutralize and give her partner a chance to put it away. Yeah. Nice finish there from Side Jesse out. Irvin. And I like the, the little tweak that you talked about. We talked about when we were off air. 
And it's the tweaks that have one to zero, happen. One. And right here, Irvin and Kawamoto making them. Second and that tweak serve. is really kind of simple. It's let's try and get Annalie Waters out of these points right now. One zero two. Easier said than done, always. But if look, you can do that, you've got to take that as a win. Look where she was standing on that last. She was all the way on Anna Bright's side. Like, there was 11 feet Zero of court one, one. wide open. Yeah, she's hungry to get in there. Very similar to Riley Newman. She can comfortably take a lot of court playing either the right or left side. Point. Bright and Waters now on the board. One apiece. One, one, one. Kawamoto was being or trying to listen to Jesse Irvin tell her to let two balls go. She doesn't. Two, one, one. And then Irvin goes long. Yeah, tougher pill to swallow when you don't win those points for sure. Oh, nice Point. little forehand flick there from Anna Bright down the middle. And I think if you're Irvin and Kawamoto, you just have to be able to find a way to unwind the stack and Three, get one, one. your forehands in the middle. I'd like to see them go a little higher and slower on the return to give themselves more time. Point. Any short return, you can see how it immediately puts them on defense. Again, it, it's not the fanciest looking return, but Four, kind one, of that one. moon ball return will at least give you time to get where you want to get. Yeah, Second but serve. with short return like that, I mean, it is Shark Week, and it's blood in the water, and you got Annalie Waters and Anna Bright just stepping in and just pulverizing balls. They smell that blood as fast as any team on tour, for sure. Nice read from Anna Bright. That's why she's upset right there. She read the speed up from Jade Kawamoto and just couldn't convert. Yeah, did a nice job of clogging in the middle, but one, Kawamoto four, able to get that second counter down, forcing her to reach just a little bit too far forward. ball does Second drop serve. for Anna Bright. Great job of handling the pressure from Kawamoto and Irvin. And so disheartening One, if you're four, Irvin two. and Kawamoto. They were under the gun the whole time. Felt like it was a good leave. And Bright with enough topspin to find the court. Oh, nice speed up right there from Anna Bright at about 60%. You know, and she's talked about Dom adding in that one-handed uh, roll. Gives her a little bit more reach out front. Executed it beautifully there. Oh, and Kawamoto all over that one, too. But if you're going to take out the number one seed, you got to be a little more clean right now. And Five, one, just one. not there. We're talking inches off was Kawamoto. Just Second missing serve. that two-hander, sits on the tape and drops back. Yeah, she was right in position. Looked like she timed it pretty Five, well, one, but two. couldn't quite clear the net. <laughs> oh, Jesse Irvin, great read on the speed up from Annalie Waters. Yeah, slid to her right, cleared her body, and was able to just get enough extension on that backhand punch to go back behind water. One, five, one. Second serve. One, five, two.
Oh, side you out. get that momentum on that blast for two plays ago to get that side out, and then you go two thirds into the net. Five one one. Lynn Second Emily serve. Waters had a sitter there. Yeah, got the response she wanted. Five, it was just one, a two. little bit early on that occasion. Ooh, and Jesse Irving going just a little too out, too far out in front of her. Yeah, might have been ambitious Six, trying one, to hook two. that back across her body. She's trying to keep it away from the counter punching of Anna Bright and Annalie Waters in the middle Side of the court. Out. Good lead from Irvin. Kind of surprised there was no timeout after that last one. But they do hold, get this side out. One, six, one. But I have to start chipping away here. She was almost just going Kalmodo, Irvin, Irvin, Kalmodo, just back and forth one, until six, she finally two. had the opening. Yeah, moving around the ball well and really being the one who dictates adding a little bit more spin and aggression on each one of her dinks. Side out. Oh, a mistake there from Irvin on the forehand. And I believe we're going to get a, no, we're not. It was a six, side one, out, one. no timeout. around the post there from Jesse Second Irvin turn. as Annalie Waters just went a little too wide. Yeah, and a roar from her, some great positive energy. Six, one, That's what they're gonna need if they're gonna mount a comeback. Yeah. Oh, nice Point. little half speed up there from Anna Bright and gets the pop up and the put away. Yeah, really going to that one-handed backhand roll Seven, quite one, a bit here. So had a lot of success in this match with it. Wow, what a Point. lob right there from Anna Bright as she dots the baseline back there. Timeout receiver. And I believe we eight, will one, get two. that time. Bright one, see after the timeout if Irvin and Kalamoto have an answer here. again right there from Kalmoto, but a nice hands battle. Yeah, and one of the things that separates Waters and Bright from the rest of the pack is Nine, even one, when two. they take a chance and speed up and they get a good counter from their opponents, they're able to often reset the next ball and still get back to neutral in the point. Side out. Side out here for Irvin and Kalmoto, and I hate saying it that you one, need nine, to score one. in bunches because it's one at a time, but you have to get at least a couple here. Oh no, and Second serve. Kalamoto almost leans into that speed up from Anna Bright. Yeah, trying to get out of the way, but like you mentioned, leaned the wrong direction. Might have gone wide, but uh, we will never know. <laughs> Side out. And a quick side out here for Waters and Bright. Two points away from moving on to Championship Nine Sunday. One, one. Wow, 
when point. it's going right, it's going right. And Anna Bright goes right off the tape. It drops right over. Nothing Jesse Irvin can do. And it will Ten, give one, one. Waters and Bright a game and match point. Second serve. A little wide off the tape right here. And this is where you see, and when Anna Lee Waters sees a 10 next to Ten, her one, name, two. she tries to make something happen all the time. She'll show a little more variety. Right there, right? And right on cue, right? She just steps right in. She will be very aggressive. She is there, and it gives her and Anna Bright an 11-5, 11-1 victory.